Hello friends, this video on hydrogen part 17 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. The next one was the ionic methods. In the first ionic method, we have this uh, in, inorganic ion exchange method. Right? So in organic method, the ions of the hard water are exchanged for less damaging ions. Example in this case, the ions is Ca plus ions, right? Or Mg plus 2 ions. These will be replaced with some less damaging ions. And we have two methods, organic cation exchanger and inorganic one. So this is the first we will study this inorganic ion exchange method. So in the earlier method we saw the calcium, we should trap the calcium magnesium high. Here instead of trapping it, will kick out the calcium and magnesium ions. So in this case, my here inorganic salt is used and that I'll write the name of this, you know, organic salt is used. And that is nothing but sodium, aluminium, silicate. And the formula is Na2, Al2, Si2, O8 dot NH2. This is the formula of the silicate. And this complex salt is called zeolite. And this has the unique property of exchanging the calcium and magnesium ions exchange. It exchange the calcium and magnesium ions. And just for simplicity, instead of writing this big thing, Na2 whole thing, this thing I write as Z. So what this formula will become? This becomes Na2Z, right? Because Na2 is this only Na2. And Al2, Si2, O8, or NH2, I like it, Z. Correct. So, what happens here is you have the hard water, you pump in hot water here. This hard water goes through this sand to, little, to purify it a little bit. Once it is a little purified, it passes through this zeolite, and this zeolite is nothing but my Na2Z. Right? So this Na2Z reacts with water, I'll write the reaction here. In Na2Z, it reacts with water. In water, it reacts with, let's suppose uh, we have chlorine, right? CaCl2 and MgCl2. So let's assume the hardness is McL2. This is the culprit. Right? This is the culprit cause hardness. When it reacts, what it becomes is this Mz. It will become Mz plus 2 NaCl. So now if you see, the chlorine ions is gone, it becomes NaCl, correct? So it will it not cause hardness and this guy is becoming Mz, right? So this guy is again, won't hinder the hardness. Because Mz is anyway this, it will be here only, right? So Mz is like a hard structure. So see the thing was it started with Na2Z and after some time, after some time, instead of Na2Z it becomes Mz. Okay? See when you start with Na2Z that is my zeolite and then it passes through the sand and it passes through the zeolite and zeolite what happens is my uh, this M is nothing but my calcium or uh, magnesium ions are trapped now. right? My calcium and magnesium ions are trapped here only. Cal sorry, calcium are trapped here only, right? So calcium and M, M is nothing but my calcium and magnesium, calcium or magnesium. You can say. Yeah. So these are trapped in this zeolite, right? And now here the pure water is uh, this. You get NaCl. Now what happens is since my uh, zeolite became from Na to Z to become Mz, that means it is no longer, uh, it, it can no longer be used, right? Because this is Mz. I need, if it is Mz, that is, it has calcium, it is of no use to me, correct? Because in this, if it is Mz, and if I add MCL2, no reaction, no reaction, correct? I don't need Mz, I need M Na to Z. But after some time, Na2Z became Mz, right? Maybe after one hour, two hour. 
So what happens is I have to again get mz because this is industrial uh, cleaning of water. So I can't uh, compromise with this. So I have to make it again mz. So what will I do? To do this, I sprinkle NaCl from here, right? The moment I sprinkle NaCl, what happens is my mz, which I have, it reacts with NaCl to gives Na2z and MCl. This is again back. Once that is back, everything is clean, right? Once that is back, everything is clean. Again, the process of water softening starts. Correct. So hot water comes in here, it reacts with zeolite. The zeolite traps the calcium and the magnesium ions, and you have the free water, the fresh water. After some time, the zeolite is exhausted. From Na to Z, it becomes Mz. Mz instead of using Mz, it we use uh, CaZ or uh, MgZ because it is more clear. Cal it becomes CaZ or MgZ. Now it can't be used further, so we just stop everything. Put NaCl here. Sprinkle NaCl solution. NaCl solution. So with that, what happens is the zeolite is again returned back to its active state. And then again we start the water filtering process. And the wastewater comes here, right? As you change, uh, when you put NaCl and all, the wastewater, all these things comes here. Correct. And this, thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.